Now this uh, big news here out of uh, California. So a guy, I, I guess uh, he breaks the code. He goes across the barrier. He's 22. She's 16. They get busted. Blah, blah, blah. Now, the uh, California Supreme Court, I guess it is. I didn't even know each state has their own happy little Supreme Court. They said he does not have to register as a sex offender because it was only a blowjob. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Clinton was always right. The Supreme Court of California has backed him up. Earl, I see you applauding. Was it for the Bill Clinton reason right off the bat? Everybody loves Billy. Yeah, but it still was sex. Oh, of course, but everybody still loves Bill. But according to this, you know, they're saying you're not a sex offender, basically saying you didn't have sex because it's just a beach. Uh, Fez, is a BJ, uh, is it sex? It's totally sex. In your world, it's all you really have besides the cornholing. What about for you, he said, Dave? No, it's not sex. It's like a cruder version of kissing. All right, it's so a blow job. That's all. It's, it's mouth. It's kissing with bad aim. So it's it's really uh, for you. It's kissing. It's making out, except for the D's there. So you wouldn't take it as sex. No, I would not. Yeah. No. No. It's so. And you said, wait a minute, something seems weird. Did you have sex with him? She could honestly say to you, like Bill Clinton, no, no, I didn't. I would fucking break her spinal cord if she said that. But that, that well, you wouldn't know. I would do that, though, if my girl was sucking a guy's elbow. It right. has nothing to do. So you don't see the difference between an elbow and a penis? Not really. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, the the don't, penis doesn't bend as do, easy. Do me a favor, don't touch my elbow. Earl, what, where's your angle on this? Oh, it's definitely sex. Yeah, definitely. I think it's sex. It's not intercourse, yes. but it is, in fact, sex. I don't even see how this comes up. So where the hell is the California Supreme Court? And also the 2216 thing, it gets a little... You know, hazy there, because some of the guys at that age are like fucking dorks anyway. They're like large babies, and some of the girls at 16, they're probably a little more advanced. So it's not the same as, you know, 11 or whatever, but still, and I, I don't even know about the whole sex offender thing, but I, I don't know where you get off saying it's not sex. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866 866- Ron Zero Fez. For you, it's a definite, though. It's absolutely not sex, because he, sex is cock into a hole into penetration. A mouth isn't a hole. Okay. A mouth is more of like a crevice than, you know, I'm talking... It still involves insertion. Are you saying an ass crack isn't a crevice? Is that where you're at right now? See, when I think it's sex... It's the smelliest all right, of the crevice. Your thing is insertion, so rubbing up against, that's not sex for you. Uh, the old-fashioned dry hump. No. Or no way. let me just get the shaft wet, as we used to sometimes beg. Let me just get the base of the shaft le- wet as I rub against. For you, that's not sex. Um, It's still contact. So any contact, a handshake, sex. Any contact of a sexual organ. Ass to ass, two people doing the bump. Yeah, if, it, if it's like this guy, the 22-year-old and the underage girl. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's so sexual contact. Doing the bump is contact. Yeah. Sexual contact. Yes. You are you are the only gay Amish person I've ever met in my life. The only thing in sex is cock pussy. I hate to say it, but that's the truth. That's the only. So there's no sex. such thing as gay sex. No, that's a sin, but that's not sex. A a. It's not a myth. A, a girl with a strap on doing another girl. That's not sex. Well, it, because it's a cock and pussy, I guess it it's is. It's not a cock. It's a fucking piece of plastic. You're insane. But when they catch sex offenders, generally they always get them on the oral, and they always consider it a sex Right, thing. or, you know, you're sitting there with your finger in uh, some child's ass. I'm sorry, that's a fucking sexual act, you fucking rapist. Uh, here is uh, Jeremy. Jeremy, you're on Rana Fez. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, if somebody gets a blowjob in the woods and no one's there to hear it, is it really sex? Uh, it would de- really depend on who was on the other side. I mean, a fucking woodchuck? Where are you going with this? <laughs> I'm having uh, problems with you. Here's uh, Boner. Boner, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, Boner. Hey, how are you yeah. doing, guys? Good, buddy. Um, I, I have a couple of lesbian friends of mine. That's where we need to be in the lesbian world here, because let's remember, there is no real penetration without help in the lesbian world, right? Well, that's that's right. Yeah. They say that sex is any form of penetration, uh-huh. whether tongue. It's mouth, pussy, or ass. So if a girl and has tongue, a tongue finger, girl snatch, that's sex. 
I got to go so along I, with I the lesbian nation here. Sex. Yeah. Uh, That's what they say on Chasing Amy, too. And you know what? Uh, when you have lesbian friends, you just constantly ask them about sexual things, too. Just trying to... Now, first of all, gay sex, to me, is quoting uh, ch uh, Chasing Amy. Mm -hmm. If you're at that point where you're ready to throw that out and use that as your move... Did you cry during that film? You yeah, said? I did. A little bit. What a part? Little bit. Um, the first time she uh, uh, tells him that he's she's not straight and yeah. he's very sad... Uh, that was a, a shocking moment, and I was very upset. And then again later on, when they wanted to get back together and everyone, and there was no stop talking. Three way, okay. All right, here is Fred. Fred, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, I uh, miss Spank and Dave. Uh, uh, Spank and Dave was really the Dave who got things done. That's the odd thing. Nothing has I happened so. since. He'll yeah. be back at Easter for all the kids. <laughs> I, uh, Dave, did I not hear you just a, a month ago say the words that you had fucked a blow up doll? And exactly. Now you're saying that it's only penis and vagina that counts as sex. I know. Which was it? Yes, you did say I fucked a blow up. Yeah, doll. I said I fucked a blow up doll. I didn't say I had sex with a blow up doll. There's a, that's the difference. So you're saying you can uh, fuck a pillow. You, you can. Oh, yeah, but you don't see masturbation no. as a form of sex? No. How is that sex? It's sex with yourself. Not really, unless yes. I have a vagina growing out of my back. All right, that's saying that you... Wow. All right, what about this? You spank on somebody. You spank on a chick. That's not sex? No, that's just a lewd activity. Right, so if you a chick would easily be able to say to you without lying, oh, we didn't have sex, even though she sat there doing a <laughs> fucking puppy pit while the guy spanks all over her, and that isn't bothering you. No, uh, and now her eyebrows are crusty. She's yelling, baby's thirsty, baby's thirsty. He's running one all over, and that doesn't even bother you in the fucking slightest. No, I would get bothered I'm because I'm not necessarily bothered by just sex acts. If she looks at another man, right, I get Now you're angry. fucking insane. Literally, now you're out of your mind when you take it that far. it's Your world is so oddly black and white where nothing you do matters. And if she looks at someone, if she uh, takes uh, just a peek... That's some young brother walking down the street without a shirt on. You're suddenly freaking out and slapping her. She's not allowed to watch Jack Nicholson movies anymore because she fucking loves Jack Nicholson more than like a you Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt. Force her to watch the uh, Oscar stuff and see how elderly he is. You'll be fine with that now. Capote. She Here's saying, how old he is. He, he called Regis yesterday. Someday we should go to a ball game. He's going on like that. Uh, here's the girly one. You're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, hey guys. Yeah. You know, I, I think what constitutes sex nowadays is, uh, you know, if, if, if you get caught or not. If you get caught, well, it, it, it's sex. Or it wasn't sex, I should say. If you don't get caught, it's sex. So keep it on the DL. Keep it on the down low. Absolutely, man. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, a wise, wise phrase there. Just really don't share. Uh, Anthony, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. Uh, you know, Fez, of course you think that a, a blowjob is sexist because guys get the best blowjob. Uh, how do you know that, Anthony? That's, uh, <laughs> From what rest stop did you do your research? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I know that you wanted to put Fez down there, but you literally jumped in the hole with him. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Bill Clinton, I guess, was right. Uh, uh, Earl is vindicated and, uh... According to the state Supreme Court, California, a beach is not sex. You feel better about that, Earl? Were you one of those guys yelling, it's not sex? No, I was just a big Bill fan. Yeah. And I was just like, hey, so the guy, the guy needs some action, you know. To... Occasionally, it feels good to be with a fat girl. What's the big deal? <laughs> yeah, I understand. Cushy. Yeah. Uh, Devon, uh, Devon, you're on the Ron and Fest show. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Devon. Hey, what's up, fellas? Yeah. Go ahead, pal. Whether you're giving a girl oral, like eating her out, or you're getting blown, it's it's oral sex any way you look at it. And from a guy's point of view, getting blown is better than having sex because it's a lot less work. Uh, I never saw it always work anyway, but you well, were going to add something, Dave? While he was talking, it made sense. If you have to just classify something as oral sex, then that's not sex. In other words... Anal sex is not sex to you. No, because it's not because you have to put an adjective in front of the word sex. All right, what if we're all? Uh, what if Fez hopped up? Corn holds you. You would say it's would, just another day. Nothing happened here. And this I would was not sex. I and I wouldn't have to register. I would complain about being raped, but this, <laughs> you can't be raped without the fucking sex part taking no, place. That's what makes it a sex crime. Mr. B. Yes. The phrase "anally raped." 
They don't say anally sex raped. They say anally raped. When do they say anally raped? They do say you can. On Law and Order. Yeah, they do say anally raped, but. I got to start watching Law and Order more. (laughs) Here's uh, Bob. Bob, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, fellas. I want to say uh, I miss Blue Man Fez. Yeah. Uh, But uh, my girlfriend in high school let me uh, fuck her in the ass because she wanted to keep her virginity. Thank you. Now, did she really keep her virginity? Thank you very much. And this is where this whole thing comes from. Some uh, younger girls attempting to do whatever they can do to keep that fucking sheet clean. That I've only had sex with five guys fucking gimmick that they all try to run back and forth. It's an asterisk in the record book. Uh, to me, it goes on the fucking list. It's on the fucking sheet all the way around. No broken hymen, no sex. <laughs> That's all. What about for you? Did your hymen ever fucking break, <laughs> you redheaded weirdo? All right, John wants to help us out here. John, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, John. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, if somebody's tossing my salad, is that is that sex? Uh, to me, I say it is. Can we just get a clarification salad on tossing the salad? Because I've heard a couple different ways, whereas tossing your salad can be like getting your butthole licked, for lack of a better word. Or yeah, tossing there your... are other words, by the way. Well, or is tossing your salad getting a blowjob? Because I heard it that no. way. No. I don't know where you're fucking hanging out downtown. I don't know what's going on. Fez is going to take you out for drinks and some fucking volume after the show, and you guys can work it out from there. Boy, did he go to a dumb prison. Neil, you're on Ron and Fez. How you doing, pal? What's going on, guys? Hey, buddy. I have a conundrum I need answered. Go ahead. If gay sex isn't sex, how can it be a sin? True. Mm. How do you deal with that? Although there's a lot of sins that aren't sex. I'm going to help you out there. I can't figure this one out. Yeah. Well, when they say it in the Bible, they actually don't say sex. I think they say, like, improper fornication. So they don't fucking say that either. <laughs> <laughs> they say when a man lays with a man. Yeah, first of all, you have to remember they didn't even no one had even heard of English. So the little word play that you fucking guys get going with your fantasy book is just that. Fantasy book. <laughs> it's just fucking crazy talk. Hey, I stand by. I've read the Bible. I went to 12 years of Catholic church. I mean school. <laughs> 12 years of Catholic school. And I stand by what I said. They never said gay se- sex. You know, it's, you can't lay next to a guy. Two guys can't fucking lay down That's true. next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. You never fucking crashed out next to a buddy. That no. never happened in your life. I did, not in the same bed. You've never been that fucking drunk. Well, okay. Thank you. Say. Thank you. I didn't say it's a sleepover. I'm saying you wake up in the morning and there's fucking bodies thrown all over this goddamn tweaker pad. Yeah, but you didn't tell me alcohol was going to be involved. Yes, We've it always is. Of First of all, there's no such thing as gay sex without alcohol. Tell You've got to be fucked up. Hey, uh, Mike. Mike, you're in front of Fez. How you doing, buddy? Real good. How you guys doing? Yeah. Hey, uh, of course Dave is... Uh, his doesn't think a blowjob is sex because his girlfriend went down on a stranger. Oh, boy. We're oh. getting back to that again. The 35-year-old. Yeah. What happened there? Did you ever find out the details? You were broken up for how long? Four months. Mm. Five. No, wait. Maybe six. Oh, jeez. Six. Didn't take her long. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she worked at a restaurant, yeah. and she knows my feelings of, of chefs. They're just the worst people on the earth. They're much worse than Hitler ever was. A chef is just terrible garbage. And so she was a waitress there, and she hooked up with a 35 year old cook which that chef. is the part the chef skilled chef that's the part that that kills me that he was a chef and what did she do with him exactly she said they did everything but sex <laughs> see she's trying to keep the fucking sheet clean she knows your language yeah yeah she's quite bright now that I think about yes, it yes and you're a fucking idiot <sighs> I don't like to think about so that, that doesn't day, bother Mr. BK. That was I a know. very dark time. Uh, well, no, yeah, because she couldn't see with all those fucking balls in her face. <laughs> Chef balls. <laughs> Chef ball uh, RD. At least the sheet's still clean. <laughs> at least the sheet's still clean. I don't like thinking of those type of moments. I hope he at least made her dinner. No, mm. she, she, she said he was a scumbag. And I, I was never No, she said he didn't wear a scumbag. <laughs> I, what did I she, not be thinking of that, by what, the way. What did he do that was so scumbaggish? Rub it all over? I I, I believe he just kind of used her for a couple of those sessions and then blew blew off. Well, yeah, no, off. she blew. Oh, man. Why do you get so confused here? Can we w- look at that website again that you were showing me? Because 
That's the only way I can take my mind off. You'll break yeah. your Lent. There's hot chefs in love. Let me fucking get that. <laughs> let me get that for you. So she was with, uh, I don't know, Molto Mario for a couple of times. He was a French chef, too, which oh, is even worse because she's French. She was yeah. born in France. Yeah, well, she Frenched. She's That's Wolfgang sure. Suck. So, like, yeah. then the two French people hooking up. Oh, God. Yeah. Just seething. USA all the way. <sighs> hey, uh, Corin, Corin, you're on Fez. Hey, buddy. Yeah. I just wanted to say, um, according to Dave, apparently masturbation is just effing your hand. Just a fist fuck. Thank you, miss, because that's exactly what it is. It's just banging your hand. What if someone else is there? No, then, then they're you have observing no... you, watching you bang your hand. First of all, if let's suppose you're just saying it's nothing. If you fucking start jacking off walking through Central Park, past a bunch of kids, you have to then, you'll be arrested... And be put up as a sex offender. That's a fucking sex crime, my friend. But they say that because you're exposing a sex organ. You're not it's still having sex in public. You're just you're expo- committing a sexual act in front of children. All right, let me let me give you a boy. A I quick wish that thing. was the last time I had to say that to him. <laughs> hey, Timmy, Timmy, you're on run a fez. Hey, boys, how are you? Hey, buddy. Hey, I got a question for Dave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If oral and anal aren't sex, then how can we just still get a sexually transmitted disease? From anal? Uh, yeah, from anal. Or oral. Uh, I've never heard of that, that oral thing. You never heard of that? You never heard of herpes, you ginger-haired idiot? <laughs> Ginger. Or AIDS? You are a sexual deviant. Go have sex with something made of rubber. Freeze. Seriously, you didn't know that gay people can pick up sexually transmitted diseases. And as far as you're concerned, they don't even have sex. They should call it when gay people get something like that. Just a different thing. Oh, so what the rest of the world should do is fucking adjust to what your vocabulary is. It should be A HIV because it's anal HIV. That's not what the H stands for. Sex. (laughs) Well, you understand the way I'm talking, right, Mr. W? No, you make no sense whatsoever. Nobody's on your side here. Other than the fact that I'm sure some stupid people are backing you up a million percent. I well, you know what I want to do? I want to meet the chef. I want to do a fucking show here called Meet the Chef, where we'll meet some of the brightest chefs in North Jersey. You could bring Bourdain and the guy who uh, put yeah. his nutsack in Claire's mouth. Great. Oh, I didn't know it went that far. She I had said no idea. everything but the she thing. Had bag. Hairy fucking nutsack in <laughs> See, her mouth. Yeah, she almost should tell me like I sucked. You, yeah. I sucked him off because now like I'm thinking he probably play like in her ear yes. and stuff and yeah. just little things maybe. Yeah. If he yeah. could come in and cook something in here while he's telling the story, I think it would be nice, like dinner in a movie. Oh my god, no, he's not allowed here. Master Poe. Do you ever have him um, uh, have her floss again, just in case there's a fucking stray left somewhere in the teeth? <laughs> no, but <laughs> stray I... pubes still in there somewhere. Where are you going, Earl? Earl, you cannot leave the show. That grossed you out a little bit. Very much so. All right. Before we have intercourse, I, she always has to brush her teeth twice, and I have to watch her. You have to watch her brush. Wash her. Oh, <laughs> wash her. Uh, hey, Joe. Joe, you're on Run Fest. How you doing, buddy? Hey, what's up, buddies? Yeah. Here's the deal. Can I ask you first, this girl that was 16, right, that uh, she had sex with this 22-year-old? Number one, uh, in New York State, 17 in a day is legal, right? Right. I don't know oh, right. I don't know the exact thing. Every state is a little different. I, I study it. It's 17 I'm in a sure day. I'm sure you are. Now, here's the deal. She goes out to a bar. She's got fake ID. She entices some 21, 22-year-old kid that's in there. He bangs her. Okay, well, he's a sex offender? No, I don't think so. I think the guy that's uh, playing with little boys. That's the sex offender. You so, gotta go after the like the priest. You got these priests in the church. That so, all right. That's at sexual. the same time, let's go through this. So, if you're with an 11 year old girl, that's not a sex offender. No, no it is. But Thank we're you. talking 16. We're right on the line here. That's there, the there is offender. the that's fucking the line exists a for a reason. So, because if the, if it was a gray zone, then you're going to go 15, 14, 13. You have to have a line. I and and I'll tell you the same thing. Line. You are responsible, my friend. Same way if you you have a bar, you serve a minor who has fake ID. Doesn't fucking matter. It's your fault. The responsibility so always lies with the adult. So pretty much girls can do what they want. Good point. What are you talking about? Girls no. can do what they want. He's right. You get to free reign over everything. What's uh, go ahead and speak? You're banging at twelve for Christ's sakes. That, so you're blaming this now on the children. I think it, I think we should blame it on the chicken because all the growth hormones they get these girls with big tits and Joe, they're older than what they are. I know you. You know how you were wondering what a fucking sex offender is. 
it's you. When you get around <laughs> to blaming the children because of the size of their breast or the, what they wear or the fact that they're wearing perfume, that means you've got the mindset of a sex offender. <laughs> now, do you have, do you want a weapon of any kind? Do I, I own lots of weapons. Do yeah. me a favor. Pull one in your mouth, pull the trigger, and fucking <laughs> stop it now. Just like if you were a werewolf, I would expect you to do the right thing. To put a fucking Swallow silver... the bullet. Yeah, put a silver bullet in your heart and save that child that one day you will be blaming for walking past your trailer. Save Thanks, the children. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. There's the fucking flag at all times, ladies and gentlemen. When that guy starts to come up with, what do you expect me to do? How are you supposed to understand? That's the fucking mindset. That's the mindset. And when, as soon as he said, and you agreed with him, that the girls were to blame. Girls can do anything they want. They get free rate. The, the guy's completely right. They get they're maturing at so much more of a rapid rate that we definitely have to. No, it's the lower. fact that your fucking mind hasn't matured yet. You still have the fucking uh, brain power of a, of a toddler. <laughs> you see something, you go toddling over and try to put it in your mouth. That's what the problem is right now. Uh, Butchie, Butchie, you're on the fence. Hey, all right. You know what? I want to ask Eastside Day, that big French sweaty ball sack there. <laughs> what did it taste like? That's not funny. Now you're taunting him. Okay? Now That's you're taunting not funny. him. funny. At this point, we don't even know what she did. I mean, French usually use very nice sauces and creams in there. Yeah, uh, he did. Cooking, so he I'm put sure a fucking actually, nice cream on her. He, he it, whipped it, up a batch. Yeah. Sure. I could Envision having a pastry type uh, taste to it. Does so, it may, maybe she did. Maybe she just put it on her tits. You don't know it this time. <laughs> maybe she fucking showered in it. And he's got it like one of those icing guns. Huh. Now, does that bother you either way? The swallowing thing? Would you feel better if she didn't? or? Oh, if she spit, I would almost be cool with it. I mean, it's basically like mouthwash. But if you swallow it, you're saying you want his little gumdrops <laughs> in her. And I can't have that. It already happened. It has nothing to do with you. You were out of the picture. You thought you were out on the fucking road meeting other women. You didn't know. No fucking woman wants to uh, date a black light with fucking red hair. That's not what they're looking for. A glow-in-the-dark boyfriend. <laughs> I look fine. Thank I you. know you do. I know you do. I'm not saying that. I'm going to change not my take, look. Don't take that the wrong way, what I said. I'm dyeing my hair black. I, I, oh, I that'll guess, look good. That's been yeah. going through my mind for like two weeks. You're Ooh. still pale. You're like slim good body. We can see your organs right through your skin. All right, how about brown? Huh? I think I would look great in the fall, you know? You're, you're getting off fucking track here. Okay. You want to focus. Sorry. You want to focus at all times. All right. Uh, here is uh, Justin. Justin, you're on a fez. Yeah, I gotta agree with Dave. Anything but uh, cock and pussy is sodomy. It's not sex. Yes, that's the word I was looking for, sir. Yep, that came that's from the, the Bible. Sodomy. That's what the Bible says. So you can't even do that with a woman, if you're going to go by your your Bible. You can't and get the a laws blowjob. in most states. Yeah, you can't get not a blowjob. Not that I don't. Yeah. It, with how many guys have you been with? Here is uh, Mark. Mark, you're on a fest. Yeah, I, I kind of stole my thunder, but no, I, no, go ahead, use your thunder. So, uh, doesn't sodomy murky the waters? Isn't that both anal sex? And well, I'm sure pool? it wouldn't murky the waters if you're in a clear pool. Yeah. <laughs> there uh, is mud involved. Hey, yeah. Well, not always. Here is uh, Skylar. You're on a fez. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I was calling in to let you know that the girl who took it in the butt to keep her sheet clean yeah. is actually really just backfiring herself. According to Webster's, yeah. losing your virginity consider is because of a penis penetrating your body. It's anyway, what hole. even the mouth. So there you go. Even that is sex, my friend. Webster, so exactly. wise. You cannot be a virgin. If you fucking sucked on a D. Which edition of Webster's Dictionary was this, by the way? The that, latest. The sexy one. I yeah. disagree. Yeah, it was the new you, one by, I think, uh, you have to put it out, actually. All right, hold on. You disagree with Webster? Yeah, because I look up all the terms in Webster's Dictionary. Did, have you looked this up? No, I mean, Virginity. Not, That's what you need to get on. on. Mm. There was a term you missed, Ethan. You would be acting like gay guys are forever virgins by your way of fucking doing it. No, but sodomites is the word. Now that that caller put so it So they're still virgins. They're sexual virgins, yes. Yes. So gay guys, sexual virgins. F sexual virgins and sodomites. 
Richard Simmons, the virgin sodomite. Uh, 866 Ron Zero Fez. 866 Ron Zero Fez. Here's uh, George. George, you're on Fez. Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. Uh, when that chef got done with Westside, he kicked it up a notch and gave her the old <laughs> Enema Legacy. <laughs> Bam! Bam! Here is uh, Aaron. Some of this might get on uh, Dave's fucking nerves a little bit. It, so. it hurts. I know personally. it does. Well, that's why you got friends around you to okay. take care of you. Yeah, but maybe then... it was just sodomy. Oh God, Mister B. Now I, uh, you're not helping the man. I had a fucking uncle that was arrested for sodomy. Yeah. Uh, his lawyer got it back to walking too close. So here's what you got to do at all times. That's fucking Henny Youngman. <laughs> That's Henny Youngman. But here's what, what I'm trying to say is you just can't go by legal things. No, I mean, sex is, as we've uh, long established, because if you just give a blowjob, you know, that's that doesn't matter. But also, So you're not gay? No, I'm not. No, I'm saying if you give a blowjob, <laughs> you're not even having sex, in your opinion. No. You're fucking... So you're not. A guy who gives another guy a blowjob is not gay. Not really. So when you go around saying you're not gay, wh how do we fucking know what you mean? <laughs> the proof is in your man pudding. Also, and it would be interesting if the female perspective came in on this, but their emotions only go to cock and penis. I mean, cock and, oh, I, and I, pussy. I, I just I want to slow down. Start again. What's this again? The female um, uh, emotions, they only believe that they've had sex if it goes from cock and pussy. If they give a uh, head, they, they don't care. Yeah, I know that. I, I know that's true of them. And that's what I'm trying to say here. Now, here's, here's what I think we should do. You want to change your look, right? Yes. Let's grow the hair out. Okay. Fucking tease a little bit. Put on giant shoes. You walk outside. You start to please the kids as they're coming down. Hand out balloons. One after another. Uh, 866 Ron Zero Fez. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Here's uh, Aaron. Aaron, you're on Fez. How are you, buddy? Hey, how's it going, man? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, sex is any time any, any person, guy or girl, gets off. Any time they come. That's that's a form of sex. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of girls don't come. Yeah. Then Westside's well, never had sex. Is that right? That. You can't make her come? I doubt it. Well, she she tells me, but she I know she's lying. Whatever. I, I, I have I got to agree with you there. There's no fucking possible way. <laughs> she can get turned on. Thanks but for your I, I, I can't imagine she even gets slightly moist. There might be one way. Try to put on a chef's hat. <laughs> the other day, even she, she actually even said it was a little dry today. Yeah. So I was very You're, embarrassed by that. The only way, she is, it's got to be doggy style while he's banging her from behind. She's reading a fucking cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> Remembering on French cuisine. Put a can of Chef Boyardee in front of her. Here's uh, Dan. Dan, you're on running fast. Yeah, what about that uh, kid that was charged with sexual battery last week for uh, giving another kid a titty twister? Where was this at? That was in uh, Florida or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, that, that fucking goes there. to show you. Down in Keith Florida, Oberman. anything can happen. Well, Keith Oberman had it on his countdown last week. So. Yeah. Florida... The nut news that comes out of that long cock shaped state is just beyond me. Every day. It used to be California, like, oh, what's the wacky California news? It's completely flipped to Florida now. Now, it's Florida where it's just too hot for those people. They go quite insane, even this time of year. And uh, the inbreeding doesn't help. Uh, Damas, Damas, you're on Fez. Hello. How, how are you, buddy? All right. The, the, the whole thing about the, the anal sex, everybody keeps referring to it as sodomy, but sodomy is a force. It's a forceful act. It's like a rape type deal. With consent, it's not sodomy. You can't refer to it as a sodomy. Well, it's, for me personally, I can't imagine any other kind of sodomy but force, but that's me. That's <laughs> me. I'm a little old school. So you're saying uh, anytime someone gets sodomized, it's, it's basically rape. But, well, if you're it's, it's never an invite. With, without somebody consenting to him saying, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Forcibly do it, that should be illegal. But to be in a bedroom with your girlfriend and you're sticking your cock in her ass and she's all for it, there's nothing wrong with that. How is that illegal? That shouldn't be illegal. I think it's still sodomy, though. It's yeah. still considered sodomy. No one said whether it's illegal, although most states sodomy is illegal. I don't know how often it's ever, you know, brought up. So but let's say I'm in bed with my girlfriend and yeah. having anal sex and the cops kick down my door. I can well, get arrested. Yeah, you have got to remember that most of these uh, laws, they're called blue laws, they were written in the old days when religion played a, a much bigger part 
and what went on with the legal system. Like the fucking divorce and cheating on each other used to be illegal at one time. They always had a sodomy charge in cases of rape because it is illegal. Right. Well, technically on the books it's illegal, so they always add that charge. Well, you're right. So if there is a rape, you throw in a sodomy. You throw in a sodomy charge, and if anything else but fails, does they he, have the he, count of sodomy on does he still Does he have to put it uh, back there for it to be sodomy? It depends. It's either oral or anal. Yeah. They still consider that sodomy. So when you're really... See, one of the things I hate about the rape stuff in the paper, they give away too much information. There's this fucking constant information in there. You know, like, uh, yeah, according to this, at least it looked like it didn't get in her ass. Oh, no, it did. <laughs> fucking reading it here. Page... Go, turn the page. Looks like she took it in the ass, too. You know what I'm saying, Earl? Yeah, they always... Like, again, they, I think the Kobe case, they added... It's like, oh, he's charged with assault and this and that, and right. one count of sodomy. So we go, oh, we know what happened there. Now, Kobe's case dropped, and it looks like uh, America re-loves him, don't you think, right now? America is back. A, just a short year. One year. It was just a year the other day when she dropped the charges and settled. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Dave? Back? No, I don't. I don't agree with that. I. I mean, I think he's be, uh, getting back on track, but there's still fifty percent of America despises him. And they look like they're trying to build the Olympic team around him, though, where he is going to be the go-to guy. Uh, they didn't ask uh, Allen Iverson out, and one of the reasons is because that would get in the way of Kobe's game a little bit. Because this is going to be. Team Kobe. Now, Kirby Puckett, who just passed away yesterday, he was caught up in the same kind of charges a couple years ago. Everything was dropped. And I don't think he, he had to bounce back that Kobe did. Maybe because Kobe was still playing. Yeah, because he actually moved out of the Minnesota area, dropped contact with the team, and went to Arizona. He should have yeah. did that the day he fucking retired, is when he should have got out of Minnesota. I understand you got a fucking job, but the paycheck stopped coming. There's no reason to be hanging around there anymore. Do you think that got dropped for for Kobe? Was he, I mean, for uh, Puckett, was he back? Was, you know, yeah, he'd already no. went into the Hall of Fame and all. I agree with you. I think I don't think Kirby Puckett, you know, he would just be like a total angel right now, and it'd probably be a l much larger news story than it is if he what was it? He was just dragging a woman in the bathroom. Some fucking crazy that party story, story, yeah. yeah. Dragging I mean, a lady did, in the bathroom. It didn't seem like it was that big of a deal. He's all fucked up. He meets her at a Bennigan's. He tries to pull her into the bathroom yeah. for a little sodomy. Next thing you know, everybody's pissed. But again, all the charges are dropped, just like they were with fucking Kobe. Now, I was one of the guys busting on Kobe, but the day that they dropped the charges, you got to fucking say, let the brother go, right? No, because Kobe uh, is just an asshole. That's kind of commonly known, like especially around the league. You know, remember that he kind of sold out Shaq. He said that Shaq had extramarital affairs during his whole like rape thing. So he dimed out Shaq. He, he he's not a stand up guy. He he comes. So you're saying it's more than just the charges that were against him, even if that didn't happen, because he was. Probably the premier player in the league in terms of uh, of where the spotlight was sitting. Well, the the charge, the biggest charge as a player was that he was selfish and that he drove Phil Jackson out of town. And he drove Shaq. He broke up the. They used to call it the triangle offense. But yeah. He it was just the like the three headed monster was Phil Jackson, Shaq, and Kobe, and everything revolved around them. And then all of a sudden he was perceived as you know what I, I can carry this team myself, and. Well I, I think he was more perceived just as a phony in that, you know, he, he put on this facade that he was a great guy, but all the guys in the league knew that he was a scumbag, so that when the rape trial happened, it just it made it official. Oh, okay, this guy is a scumbag, and the rest of America So you were disappointed. That. You were disappointed when the uh, yeah. trial. I want him to go to sail right down the river, or right. however the phrase This is a call for you, Dave. Hi, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, this is Darren. Again. Yeah, I think I know what the uh, chef said after he, after he was done. Yeah. No, 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 it was Frenchy. Oh, it didn't even fucking make sense. Come on. If you're going to be over there and fucking screen call, set them up, my brother. Set them young, up, young Bronx. Johnny, he should just went right with the impression first. Uh, here's Amanda. Amanda, you're in front of us. Hey, I just want to say, uh, he said, Dave, if he had sex, you'd have to call it clown sex. Well, McDonald, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, be kind to I Dave. I like her. Yeah. Yo, and how much of a curse is it that that's actually my real fucking last name, too? McDonald? Yeah. Did you get that all the time growing up? Oh, my, every time, yeah. yeah. And I, it, it made me just dominate people in sports. Why get rid of it then? Let's stay with it. Ronald McDonald. All right. 
You never had a happy meal. They were all sad for you. Because then I would take him out on the court and crush him. Boom. 12 years old. I was... You know what I want to get you on this new TV show? I was watching it last night. Pros versus Joes. Have you seen it yet? Yes, I would love to participate in that. I know. No, they only they only ran the one episode. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, this the one with Jerry Rice from and, last night. Yeah. So is it going to be different pros every time you come out? Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's I think try I'm, to get you on that. Call Spike TV and let's get the big man out there. He's always telling me I was three eighty nine fucking batting average. <laughs> I fucking shoot the lights out on the court. Yep. He's uh, everything but football. Right? You never play football. Never play football. Yeah. Why? Catholic. No, they uh, we the uh, high school that I went to didn't have a, uh, a high school football team because a kid died in the seventies and they never brought it back up again. How footloose! <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, here's uh, John. John, you're on Run Fez. Yeah, Dave. Yes. Hey, what's your sexual preference? What do you mean, sir? You mean what do you prefer? I clown chicks. or non-clown? I like women, and my favorite position is doggy style. <laughs> okay, that's your sexual preference. What are you, Those fucking pe playboy? <laughs> a little different. Okay? Yeah. If it's sexual preference, then it's sick. No matter what Fez does, it's sick. It's his sexual preference. Okay. I'm Why am I used as the example? <laughs> yeah. I want to assume that you have more of a life than you do. Hey, you're the easiest one there, Fez. Yeah. Everyone assumes that you do something. Well, it's, quit assuming. If they knew the actual truth, it would be worse, Fez. So let's go with this gimmick. What happens when we assume? Here's uh, Eric. Eric, you're on a Fez. Hey, guys. Let me yeah. ask you a question. Yeah. Ron, Fez. Go uh, ahead. We're all, all here. There. We all know anything, our names. Anything that arouses you sexually, okay, is related to sex, correct? So if you're with a woman, right, and yeah. you leave your wife at home and you're sexually aroused, okay, and then you play with yourself, was it cheating? First of all, I don't even know if I believe in cheating. I think that whole thing is just uh, forced upon us. Right, I, I think what's ever... Let me, I think let me ask you this question. Yeah. Let me, hold on. Barry White, the late Barry White. God bless him. such an effect on women. Right. Okay? Would make any, you know, millions of women wet over the time of his, his, right. his, his career. Yeah. Was that... Should he be charged? Should he have been charged as a, a sexual offender? Well, you know, I don't know if it was offensive with the uh, great well, Barry White. Let's, let's take one may not be offensive to the next. All right, let's take a listen here and see if women are being turned on. But you're saying you're a little jealous of Jack Nicholson because yeah. of the effect he has on your uh, but <laughs> fiance. In a way, you could look at Barry White as a human aphrodisiac, right? And that's the way I would approach him. Although. Of course, the own rules that I set up for the rest of America doesn't apply to myself because I'm a hypocritical bastard at time, and I won't let her watch Nicholson. But there is such a thing as aphrodisiacs, you know, food and, and humans even could be like that. Yeah. Here is uh, Pokey. Pokey, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, I got a question for Captain Literal here. Yeah. If you're a little too late, bro. If you're in love with a chick, can you still hate fucker? If I'm in love with a chick, can I still what fucker? Can you still hate fuck a chick that you're in love with? Or do you have to hate her? Yeah, well, what, what's a hate fuck? In other words, what? being angry and doing it. And that answer is no. That's the fantasy that you bring in. See, every time that you have sex, you're not necessarily making love. Right. That whole making love thing, if you notice, is really fucking overdone. It's For how often people actually make love... Let's face it, with making love, who wants to? It's fucking as boring as, like, when you attempt to have the baby. That's the least <laughs> fucking sexy sex you can possibly have. Yeah. Here is uh, Charles. Charles, you're on Fez. Hey, fellas. Yeah. I just wondered, man, is is 69 considered sex when you're 69 and or, or maybe when you're 71 and? <laughs> 71 is what, two extra digits? No, it's 69, and you both got a finger up each other's ass. Yeah, that's where I went with the two extra digits, but thanks for being more blunt. <laughs> uh, where are you on a 69? No, that, that's not. That's really hardcore. I mean, it, just massively hardcore making out. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> making sex. out to the 10th power. Yeah. You are the fucking weirdest person I've ever met in my life. It's extreme, Mr. B. Dave, we were just making out. <laughs> With my cock, or with his cock in my mouth. What? <laughs> Pull that for me. Would you isolate him saying that? Thank you very much. 
Uh, all right, here is Ed. Ed is a police officer, so he will give us the legal terms on what's going on. How you doing, Ed? Hey, Ed. Uh, under Megan's law, we got to register these fucking guys under yeah. uh, the, the, the New Jersey uh, state law for um, sex offenders. Yeah. You got to hear them trying to justify their fucking actions when they did what they did. It's un-fucking un believable. What kind of shit do they say? Anything. Because yeah. Say, oh, okay. When you're, uh, when you're like fingerprinting them or whatever, if right. you move into your town. Oh, what'd you do? Uh, you know, I had uh, anal sex, oral sex with a uh, fucking 10 year old, a 12 year old boy, my neighbor. Unbelievable. And they justify it like they fucking think they're. Uh... Like the kid did something, like the victim did something. Exactly. It's unfucking believable. Now, what do you call that kind of thinking? Uh, uh, is it like a, the criminal mind when it's like that? When they believe oh, they're in the right? You, can't, you, got, you just got to just like look over it and just treat them like a regular person. Because if you say anything, you know... That you can't get furious. You can't fight. You just you just act like they're telling you whatever. You're just filling it yeah. out. You can't. Because if, God forbid, you even give them a dirty look, they, they can get an internal affairs complaint on you. You know, I cannot tell you how tough it must be to be a cop. Everybody always sees the cop in the kind That's of aggressive role. Yeah. But yeah. so many times that you got to sit there, you see a fucking horrible person. The problem is you got a gun on your hip. You got to make sure you restrain yourself yep. from doing you what. Anything off collar. Yeah. God forbid. Uh, it's ridiculous. Like I mean, all the all the little remarks that they make on TV when they're arresting somebody. You can't do any of that shit. No. You can't act like oh it'll be I mean, a long time before you see. Yeah. Camera, so yeah. You're, you're fucking screwed. Yeah. The job went down the down the shitter. Uh, all right, thank you very much. Later, bro. Thank you. So, yeah, getting back to that uh, thing of when the guy was blaming the kid, that is it's really a fucking form of insanity, that you're not seeing reality the way reality is right now. Mm. Sid Rosenberg, God bless him, calls us yesterday and is going, where were you guys when all this shit hit me? Where were you in O&A? And I'm like... I want to help you, but not fucking, you know, not the way you think is help. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, uh, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Hey, uh, Will, Will, you're on a fez Yeah, you know, the guy was talking about fucking your chick. You can hate fuck a chick. Me and my bitch, we go around and around at least once a week, if not three times a month. And I'm talking around where shit's thrown, walls are broken, and I get done fighting with her, and we'll go in the bedroom and scrog, and I'll just completely have so much contempt for this whore in my fucking heart that I'll fucking pound her. And then about a day later, I'll get the fuck over it. Ramon, get Fezzi a cock! <laughs> <laughs> well, what he was trying to say there, I'm sorry about that, Fez. Yeah, I don't get it. What he was trying to say, there's a thin line. Between love and hate. That's the old fucking angle there. That woman that you're crazy about also drives you crazy. Now I see the point. There's absolutely... I mean, I don't I, li I don't like hate fuck as a term. Yeah. But there's definitely anger or dislike fucking... With there. you and your chick? Yeah. What, what bring... All right. Because I... Now, I don't know her as well as you do. Fez and I know her from Bar 9 could not meet a nicer woman never there's not too many women i see as dedicated right i mean she looks at you like fucking reagan's wife used to look at him that stupid gaping fucking mouth look like everything he says is poetry what is she doing to drive you crazy other than chef cock don't bite fingernails around me yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. And she bites and bites and bites. The whole Oscars. The yeah. little chipmunk. I, it, it, she sounds almost like a woodchuck. So you, that drives you insane. You want to you smack her. Smack her. And then I say, you've been bad. I, I uh, convince her to play Mario Kart so I can get my reward. But then, yeah, then I bang her real hard. Standing so up she understands. Doggy. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so she understands. Yeah. So she aggravates you. She annoys you. The uh, fingernail biting, she clean, She cleans too much, too much vacuuming. Now, you saying that, and Fez tells me you're a pen chewer. He's always got a pen in his mouth, and it drives me nuts. Not anymore. Yeah. I've given that up. Since the ass pen yeah. started. Do you I think you chewed on some ass? <laughs> no. I know you have, because I've sat in here since the pens went in Norton's ass, and you've had them in your mouth. But I always take them out of my book bag. I got pens. Don't. Why are you more. chewing on a pen? What's that? Uh, I'm very nervous. We because... need to get your fucking bit. 
I'm very nervous with this whole lack of spanking stuff. You know, it's making me. No, you were doing it before. Been. You were doing it before. Uh. All right, the lunatic uh, trucker wants to explain some uh, military rules to us. How are you, sir? You're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, according to UCMJ, the definition of sodomy is anything other than the missionary position. So even doggy style, you're going against the Bible. I've heard that, too. That's well, why it's see. called the missionary position, because as the missionaries got around the world, they were offended to see the way some of the natives made love, standing up, girl on top. It, uh, it brought in the devil into the world. UCMJ is Uniform Code of Military Justice. All Army, Navy, Marines, all that. And anything other than missionary position is considered sodomy. Oil, all that shit. There you have it. You're breaking all kinds of Bible uh, rules there. I doubt that's accurate. because if No, that was... is accurate. Why do they call it the missionary position? A girl on top? Like, I'm sure there were some fat apostles, and if they did missionary, they would have crushed their chicks, so... The apostles did not have to follow uh, a lot of the rules that are in the Bible now. Because they were busy writing the New Testament. Eh. Eh. But if you're eh. really, really large, you know, usually the girl likes to go on top, so I'm sure there must have been, like, I'm sure, like, you know... No one Moses. says it doesn't fucking happen. We're saying what your book says. That's what they mean. By sodomy. I'll, I'll read it tonight. I got it at home. Yeah, see here's, where I... here's John. John, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, how you doing there, Ronnie? Yeah. Hi, Miss Pussy Eating Fez. Mm. Listen, uh, my girlfriend. You there, Ronnie? Right? Yeah, we're listening. Oh, okay. Bated breath. I, my girlfriend, they, you can only she can only come when you fuck her in the ass. You can't, nothing in the pussy. I mean, only in the ass. Yeah, she doesn't have to look at you. sex? Uh... When you're with your girlfriend, you're saying he's not having sex with her? No, he's not. He's annually, you know, ruining her for life. Annually, not annually. <laughs> no, it only happens once a year. Oh. That's the only time they're uh, willing to do well, it. Well, then that is sex, I guess. Yeah. All right, here's uh, here's Sean. Sean, you're on Run Fest. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, how you doing, guys? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm working uh, in Queens over here. I work at Con Edison. I'm over here. Uh, Congratulations, I, here I got my own radio fucking about, show. Uh, about these, these little girls and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, these, these guys are too hard on these sex offenders. I mean, sometimes I've gone out to bars and, and the clubs and stuff, and you see these little girls, and, you know, the 14 years old looks like 22 years old nowadays. So what's your and, point? Uh, well, my point is that they're giving these sex offenders a hard time, giving them a bad rap, that they're, they're psychopaths and this and that. Yes. And I, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, who, who's to say that a girl shall lie to you about her age, you know, and, and you have sex with her and have a great time, and then two days later you're getting handcuffed and arrested. And Here's the thing. Being... A little girl five years old may think she likes having sex, but you're the adult. Do you understand right. what I'm saying? Right. You can You can talk a child into anything, and they won't know the difference. Well, but, but, but what I'm saying... You can tell her you suck a dick, and probably tomorrow a pony will fucking appear under her pillow, and she'll do it fucking happily, but you're the lunatic, not her. She's a child. But it, she's a child, but it, when you initially meet that person, how do you... How, are you supposed to ask for ID nowadays? You... The ice? Yes, you would want to know that she's at least 18. That's all we're fucking asking of you. 18. This is not a difficult law. And the other part of it, here's what you're not understanding. To you, she might look like 22. To the rest of us, she might look like a little girl. You may not be seeing the world correctly, my friend, is what I'm saying to you. Because you're seeing it everywhere. Right. I mean, I, I, I don't understand you. I hear what you're saying, but you have to understand. I, mean, I know there's people out there who agree with me. Yes, it's other psychotics. Right, but... but but you see, you can walk down and you see a girl say, "Wow, she's good looking." Right. And these girls nowadays, yeah, you know, I don't know if it's in if it's in the food or what the hell is going on here. But they got big tits, they got nice ass, and they're tall. They they talk a good game, and to go up to a girl and be like, "Oh, can I have your ID first before I stick my dick in you?" And, you know, bro, what, what's been you that? are on your way to fucking prison. I can see it a mile away. You're living in a fantasy world. You're but, living in a fantasy world. This is the reality. This is reality. Your reality, yes. Every day. And you know what? You can find other guys that will agree with you. There's a fucking group called NAMBLA where they're all acting like, hey, why can't we have sex with children? So you'll find other fuckers that agree with you. But guess what? You're going to end up in jail with this fucking kind of thinking. 
I, I, I totally disagree with you. I think you're totally wrong. Totally wrong. About and what? 14-year-old girls? This, what, what is the problem with having... I mean, how can you tell nowadays? It's totally ludicrous. And when you to can't say, tell the difference between a child and a woman, by the way they talk, the way they act, the way they look, there's four, something not going right in your fucking brain, my brother. 14 years old is not a child, first of all. I can understand 12, 11, fine. But these 14 See, you have a cutoff date yourself. But I'm telling you right now, what you are saying, you need to get to a fucking shrink and work this shit out before, because right now you're not in trouble. Unless you've, it seems like maybe you're defending something you already did. Well, I'm not going to get into that right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. Nobody ever fucking thinks they're wrong when they're fucking crazy, when they're out doing these things. And you called here looking for somebody to back you up so you can feel better about yourself because you're nervous about what you did. Right? I, I, I regret it, but it wasn't my fault what happened. I'm not going to get into it, but it wasn't. Every fucking guy, you heard from the cop, they all say it wasn't their fault. I'm telling you right now, something's not right in your fucking brain that you think this is what everybody else sees. Well, I mean, I live in Rockville Center. Yeah, my name's Sean. Uh, and, and, you know, this is, this is what I, I don't see how I'm wrong here. I had a couple of problems before in the past. What kind of problems? I just don't, I just don't see. What kind I, of problems? I met a few young ladies on the Internet on my MySpace, and, uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I met up with them, and, and things, things went sour. I had calls from parents and things like that. How old are you, Sean? Excuse me? How old are you, buddy? How old are you? Hello? Yes, I'm right here. Yes, what was the question? How old are you? 26. Uh, you're 26. These girls are under 18. Yeah, I found out afterwards they were. Right. And you couldn't tell the difference. I, I couldn't tell. I yeah. couldn't tell the difference. What did the parents say to you? Um, I, my, I, still live, I still live with my mother, so you know her, their, their parents talked to my parents, and uh, everything got straightened out. You're and, living... Uh, I, there's something fucking wrong with you. Okay, bro? You're going to have to work on this. No one who's 26 should have their parents talking to somebody else's parents about their problems. Now, if you got away with it this time because of what other the other family, blah, 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 a fucking cop will come and arrest you. You'll go up in front of a jury of their peers, and they're all going to see you as a fucking maniac, bro. Well, uh, the, the last thing I'm going to say is that I, I don't see the harm in it. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. If I get in trouble, I'll deal with it when it happens. What, but, uh, what you're going to do is go to prison, and then you're going to be in a fucking bunk next to a guy who doesn't, who thinks every time you burp, it means you're saying, please fuck me, because he's going to be a crazy person, too. And that's where you don't want to be. You want to be where people that can help you that your mind is fucked up, not fucking put you in a place where a fucking overgrown child like you is going to be just treated like a fucking sex toy. Please. Stop it now. So you're saying, I mean, where can I get help for something like this? you got to get to a fucking shrink. Do you guys have anybody you can refer me to? What or? I'm going to do for you, bro, I'm going to put you on hold, all right? And Earl is going to try to fucking help you. We'll find out if there's anybody out there, because I guess you're on some kind of budget since you don't have your own money. Well, I, I live on my own. I have a RAV4. Uh, you know, I, I work for Con Edison, but I mean... But I, I'm still living at home. So. You're still living at home. Your mom's still handling your problems. She doesn't think maybe there's something wrong with you? I, I it, it, it occurred to me in the past when these problems came that maybe I was doing something wrong, but I just don't see... You know, I, I can't I can't see clearly. I, don't, I know you can't see clearly. I have a problem, I guess. I, yes. I need help. It sounds like a fucking me. problem. All right, Earl, I'm going to put him on hold with you, okay? Try to find... Yeah, there's got to be some kind of services... That if he's on a budget or whatever, he can go talk to someone and work some of this stuff out. Can you do that, Earl? Yes. Can I count on you, buddy? Yes. To take care of this guy? Absolutely. All right, Sean, hold on, all right? All right, thank you. Now, here's where you're going, uh, Dave. Holy mackerel. That's fucking... He, like, in, in the terms of the hourglass... He's fucking three little sands away from you oh, because you're just as fucking nutty as him. You're almost Shaun of the Dead here. Well, until the end of the phone call, there were a couple points that I had to agree with. That's what I'm worried about. It, if they look like adults, it can get very confusing. Will you not help him now that uh, he's going to go okay. fucking get someone? All right. Okay. 
when you have that little confusing thing, here's what you need to do is just say, hey, you look kind of young. How old are you? We're not asking for the fucking world here. But what if some states, you know, it's like 18 to get a driver's license. You know, what, what if she doesn't drive? What if, if she you has say no that's still license? Hey, how old were you when Kurt Cobain died? And the minute she says who, you fucking get out of there. I'll do that Cobain technique from now on. Right. Because we're gonna not everyone drives. We're going to take a break. All right? Okay. I don't want you to sound as crazy as him. I might put you in a fucking group home with him. You and Sean together trying to figure shit out. We'll be right back in a few moments. It's the Ron and Fez show.